If you've paid any attention at all to the cannabis space over the past year or so, you've undoubtedly heard of Delta 8, Delta 9, and Delta 10 THC. Delta 9 THC is the traditional THC compound, the naturally occurring marijuana cannabinoid that's responsible for the mind-altering effects we feel when we get high. But what about Delta 8 and Delta 10? What exactly are these cannabinoids? Where do they come from? How are they made? And most importantly, what do they do? In the most basic sense, Delta-8 and Delta-10-THC are chemical isomers of naturally occurring Delta-9-THC. All three compounds are similar in terms of both their chemical structure and their physiological effects on the human body. The difference is a subtle chemical one. All three compounds, Delta-8, Delta-9, and Delta-10-THC, actually have the exact same chemical formula, C21H30O2. This means each molecule contains 21 carbon atoms, 30 hydrogen atoms, and two oxygen atoms. These atoms are chemically bonded to one another in a very specific way, almost like a unique fingerprint. Without doing a deep dive into organic chemistry 101, the difference between the three molecules lies in the placement of a carbon double bond on the THC chain. With a delta-9 THC, the double bonded carbon occurs on the ninth carbon. With delta-8 THC, the double bond is on the eighth carbon. And surprisingly enough, with delta-10 THC, the all-important double bonded carbon lies on the tenth carbon. So what does all this mean in practical terms? Basically, Delta-8 and Delta-10 THC are synthetic, man-made versions of Delta-9 THC, which is an illegal marijuana compound under the Controlled Substances Act. Since Delta-8 and Delta-10 are produced from hemp, a legal plant thanks to the 2018 U.S. Farm Bill, crafty manufacturers have found a legal loophole allowing them to sell customers mind-altering THC products in states where recreational cannabis isn't legal. The real question is, how are companies making these Delta-8 and Delta-10 products? And are they safe? To be honest, very little is known regarding the safety or manufacturing of Delta-8 or Delta-10 products. We do know, however, that most companies that sell Delta-8 products start with hemp-derived CBD. Through a series of chemical reactions involving the use of alcohol solvents, manufacturers are able to isomerize or chemically convert CBD compounds into Delta-8 molecules. The same process is used to make Delta-10 products. As for whether or not these products are explicitly legal, there doesn't seem to be a black and white answer to this question just yet. According to an article published by Normal, the National Organization for the Reform of Marijuana Laws, a 2022 Court of Appeals ruled that federal law does not explicitly prohibit the sale or manufacture of Delta-8, so long as it's made from hemp. The ruling also acknowledged that if the 2018 Farm Bill did in fact create a loophole for the legal sale and manufacture of Delta-8 and Delta-10, then it's up to Congress to fix this mistake. If you're enjoying this video, please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe right here to The Way of Leaf for weekly video content on all things cannabis and science. Anyway, what about the effects of Delta-8 and Delta-10? Do they actually get you high? Believe it or not, yes. But most people say they're only about half as potent as Delta-9. Interestingly, most people also report that Delta-10 products have more of an energizing effect, consistent with classic sativa strains, while Delta-8 products have more of a sleep-inducing sedative effect, similar to indica strains. For a more in-depth analysis and explanation of the effects of Delta-8 and Delta-10, be sure to check out these videos. Of course, these effects can vary wildly depending on the potency of the product, how well it was made, and so forth. Manufacturers are also infusing Delta-8 and Delta-10 products with terpene profiles from classic cannabis strains, including Sour Diesel, OG Kush, and Pineapple Express. In a nutshell, Delta-8 and Delta-10 THC products are man-made legal loopholes that allow companies to sell mind-altering THC products to customers that don't otherwise have access to legal cannabis. If you have anything else to add to the conversation on Delta-8, Delta-9, and Delta-10, please feel free to do so in the comments below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this video content helpful and informative. And lastly, for more help on choosing between Delta-8 and Delta-10, be sure to check out these videos right here.
Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.